user configuration the next part is now you can browse internet but while uh, using while downloading from this ubuntu software center it will give some problems right so what you need to do go to home and search for proxy click this network okay then click network proxy I have already okay let me maximize this one I have already set this one but if you have not go to first when you will open it will be unknown go to manual then apply your proxy host proxy IP then the proxy port number and copy and paste it in all the settings right then click apply system wide and it will ask for your password Google your password okay then close it so the third part is also done okay and the next part is terminal proxy setting for that get the terminal control alt and t okay then type type this thing every time here we'll make changes to the app.conf configuration file okay type sudo because it need super user privileges super user do then type the text editor nano and all those things i am using gedit here text editor name then type the path etc then apt then apt dot co and f it will ask the password okay so here you got this thing so um, by default it will have these things what you need to do because we have already uh, uh, already set the network proxies and applied it system wide that's why it has this by default it will take your proxy host and the proxy port number if uh, your network has system uh, network username and password you need to give it otherwise you can leave it like that only and if your network has username and password then you need to give it just up to this give your username my name is up then colon then the password and the password then at the rate copy this one give your username and password there okay This is for HTTP. This is for secure HTTP. This is for file transfer, and this is for sockets. Okay, save it and close it. That's it. All the steps we have done. So after doing all those things, you can perfectly browse the net and download all those things using this ubuntu software center or you can download manually using the command line interface i am going to talk about how to download softwares into ubuntu like this one is very simple the gui based type any software then click here and install then it will install the software but I'm going to tell you how you can download manually also and from the synaptic package manager also okay so that's it from me thank you for watching hope you liked it and don't forget to subscribe